from engineers giving them information. As green flag is in the air once again, they stacked up Cliff Boyer on the inside, four, five wide. They all keep it straight. I think that was Chase Purdy, maybe. The, that black truck right there now is on the inside of the three wide. Awesome. That didn't go. And Caution is out for the fifth time. That's the 46. That's Dawson Cram. Probably a chain reaction from, from whatever happened. I think it was Chase Purdy that didn't go when they restarted. See some damage the rear end of that race truck. Yeah, from pit road here, I have a right on the start finish line, and and the the leaders just didn't go. They were. That's the 77 of Purdy is right in front of him. The accordion. Michael was dead on. I think once Chase got into the truck behind, that he was behind, and, and Warrior got into him, then then I think he probably missed a gear. Then we're going to ride along with. With Clint, he's going to get it back in the back of the 77 of Chase Purdy, and then Chase doesn't go. It's possible that Chase had his hand on the shifter as he was going from second to third, and when Clint hit him, it may have it may have pulled that thing out of gear. There's Dawson Sutton's on board. And Wallace Allen is the one that got in the back of Dawson Graham and turned him into the infield. Look at all the damage to the nose of the seven. What did Clint have to say about all this, I wonder? I'd say we're done. Mother what happened? It was Jimmy Jack in the start fast. They're not going to be done, I'm telling you. They're did not going to be done. Did he say he was Jimmy Jack in the restart? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so I heard Boyer say earlier today how nervous he was for this day, but he goes, you can bet when I put that helmet on, cinch that chin strap, I'm going to be a lunatic driver on the radio. And we wouldn't ask for anything less. Of course, as we see Stuart Friesen is able to get around him for the seventh position. They'll take a look at that on that uh, at the stage two break here. We're just 12 laps to go in this stage. We'll be able to come to Pier Road and, and take a look at that. I'm just really impressed with the 52. Stuart Friesen is running up here right right ahead of Lane Riggs. And what they've been able to do, Jimmy Villeneuve comes Crafting over as in the top this 10. year. He said it's going to take at least mid-season till we get things figured out. I get the trucks built the way I want. We've got the people in the right positions. And lately, I mean, three straight top 10 finishes, finished second in Charlotte, comes out here and gets the pole. They have a bad pit stop. And now he's rallied all the way back up here, continues to move forward as he's working on the sixth spot. Yeah, we talked uh, after nine races that he hadn't had a top 10 yet this year. And then, as you mentioned, reeled off three in a row, including a runner-up finish. So he has made major, major moves. Is he stepping, trying to get underneath the 38 of Lane Riggs to try to take over the eighth spot? Lane's going to try to side draft them back. Good looking truck for Stephen Parsons. One of the part time drivers in the field. Amanda mentioned the effort that he's put in. Two top 10 finishes this year. He's got four or five more races. Yeah, they're hoping to add more, but at least four or five more races with pop cells. And I know when he's not in that truck, he's at the racetrack doing whatever he can. He's spotting, he's carrying the helmet, he, whatever he needs to do to be out here behind the wheel. Okay, this battle with Lane Riggs has allowed the 88 of Matt Crafton to, to catch these two. There's Matt right there. Frankie Muniz, the Hollywood superstar. Trouble on pit mm -hmm. road. Christian Eckes continues to lead here at Nashville. A little bit overheating there, Choice bub. Hotels is a family. This is the third incident that just sent Stephen Parsons around. This is a situation where we just put somebody in the wall. There'll be a lot of damage to that pop cells truck. Mm, not that far. That's too bad. We were just telling the story about Stephen Parsons. Amanda told their story, and you know he was doing a great job, had good qualifying effort, ran top ten. Now he's got a wrecked truck. And that right rear corner that's so critical to the downforce in these trucks. Looks like left rear damage for Lane Riggs. So they had slipped back out of the top five. So Christian Eckes picks up stage win number two of the night. 
won Martinsville earlier this year when he swept the stages. So what does that mean? Chances are looking yep. good. The Chances odds. Good. The odds of Christian Eck is winning tonight, pretty good. And the length of these stages, again, everyone's going to come down pit road now and put four tires on. Again, but you still have another set of tires laying. We saw last year Nick Sanchez put tires on essentially for a green-white checker finish. He went from 12th on the restart to third in one lap by the time they got back to the start-finish line. Ended up finishing third in that race. So it's not out of the question that someone will put fresh tires on towards the end of this race, and they will have the opportunity to do that if the caution I'm saying it's time, time. Highlighting those athletes on pit road, Michael. Well, Christian Eck is, is a two-time winner this season already. He's led them all. Can he hang on for win number three of the season? We'll find out. Pit stops coming up next. 